the next 50 index if you think about it and we've been discussing the journey it's, it's it's something which has been there for more than 25 years um it, it has it is the next uh, 50 an interesting piece is that before it was called uh, next 50 it was renamed to next 50 in 2015 before that it was called the nifty junior index uh, and that speaks about it. The juniors will go, go on to become the seniors. So you capture the next 50 uh, blue chip companies in the last cap universe. Uh, the other thing which I'd like to highlight in this is that one is that the uh, index itself is much more diversified compared to uh, the Nifty 50 itself. The concentration of the various sectors, the concentration of the various stocks, much less than that of the Nifty 50 which is a lot more concentrated, which uh, fewer stocks are making a bigger portion of the entire index in the Nifty 50 and the, uh, uh, than the uh, next 50. So that's that, that that's the reason why I think this is a it's a good fund to invest in. In, in terms of uh, uh, what the kind of companies, many of these companies are companies that you are very familiar with, which have become very large and part of the uh, Nifty 50 as well. Uh, these are all companies which used to be a part of the Nifty next 50 uh, index at one point of time. Uh, so these are uh, names which uh, I think tomorrow going going ahead as well, you'll see many of these. Uh, do we know which ones as uh, Anant has uh, pointed out, you know, in the next 10 years, maybe another uh, 10 companies for sure will move up to the next, uh, to the um, uh, Nifty 50. Do we know which ones those are? Maybe sitting here today, we don't. But uh, if you're part of the next 50, then you'll see that migration moving up to the ne to the Nifty 50 as well. So you can be a part of that um, as well. And, and as Anand has said, you hold on to the winners in this case. You keep on holding on to the uh, winners as they become bigger. While this, uh, the ones which have migrated down and are becoming smaller, you lose them out. You uh, lose the losers as well. So I think that's 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 a part about being a passive investor as well. Um, and this is a, what I've already spoken about. You know, I think the allocation to the sectors is is, is far more balanced. If you look at the right hand side, you know, financial services, um, which is 38 percent in the Nifty 50, it's about 20 percent. So you have exposure to uh, other uh, many uh, sectors as well. I think, for example, the construction of about 11 percent, which um, is just maybe 4 percent in the Nifty 50 and uh, chemicals, which is an upcoming uh, sector, which is uh, which is done very well for uh, the overall markets. That's that's ten percent. So the overall balance is is a lot lot uh, different compared to uh, that of the Nifty Fifty. Far more exposure to the newer age uh, sectors um, and far more uh, uh, diversified as well. So I think that that that's a good mix which you have. In terms of uh, the returns as well, it's 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 done very well in the long term. Uh, Twenty-five years, forty x returns. I mean, it's a it's a it's done very well uh, in terms of the absolute returns. Uh, over the ten years, it has done better than the Nifty uh, Fifty as well. Uh, but I think, as Anantha said, it does come with a bit more, uh, you know, volatility. Let's say. I mean, it 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 will cause you a bit more uh, downs and ups. Uh, the movement will not be as smooth as maybe the Nifty 50, uh, but it, the, at the end of it, you're standing on better returns as well. So I think uh, it's worth riding out and sitting through the journey. Um, and I think that is the, uh, that is the um, reason why you can look.